There's no shortage of stories and urban legends concerning unidentified flying objects and extraterrestrial visitors. But few accounts feature a being as strange as the one reported by seven witnesses in Flatwoods, West Virginia in 1952. Is their encounter proof that we've been visited by beings not of this world? Or is there another explanation for their strange sighting? Flatwoods is a small town with a current population of around 300 people. Located in central West Virginia, it's surrounded by dense forests and mountains. It's not a place you'd expect to make national headlines, but today it is well known for the events of September 12th, 1952. Brothers Edward and Fred May, along with their friend Tommy Heyer, were enjoying an evening game of football when they saw a bright object streak across the sky and crash down on a nearby hill. Frightened, the boys ran to the home of Edward and Fred's mother, Kathleen May, a local beautician, along with two other children and 17-year-old National Guardsman Eugene Lemon. The group of seven headed toward where the boys believed they saw the object crash. After traveling less than a mile, the group reached the top of a hill where they spotted a pulsating red light about 50 feet ahead of them. The object was surrounded by a strange cloud of red mist and they detected a pungent metallic odor in the air that made their eyes and noses burn. To the left of them, they spotted two smaller blue lights hovering underneath an old oak tree. Mrs. May told Eugene Lemon to point the flashlight in the direction of the lights. The group was stunned at the sight of a grotesque ten-foot tall creature with a circular head surrounded by a spade-like cowl. It appeared to have two glowing eyes, which the witnesses described as portholes. The lower half of the creature seemed to have been made up of metallic tubes that Mrs. May said reminded her of her window drapes. The being emitted a loud, shrill hissing noise and began to glide toward them. The witnesses bolted back toward the house and immediately contacted Sheriff Robert Carr, as well as a newspaper reporter. Both of the men visited the site separately later that night and also reported smelling a strong metallic odor in the air, but no other sign of the creature or the red light remained. In the days and weeks following the encounter, several of the witnesses fell ill, suffering from throat irritation, as well as nausea and stomach pain. Eugene Lemon was deeply affected by the incident and suffered from vomiting and convulsions and had trouble going out at night for months after. But what did the witnesses really see out there that night? Skeptics claim that it could have been something as simple as a barn owl perched on top of a large bush, giving the appearance of a large human-shaped creature. The head of a barn owl which are not uncommon in West Virginia, closely resembles a spade with two large eyes. Keep in mind that the encounter only lasted a few seconds, while the witnesses were in a heightened state of anxiety after witnessing the large fiery object flying through the sky. The object was likely a meteor. The loud hissing noise that the creature emitted could also be explained as coming from an owl.
It's also worth noting when the sighting happened. The 1950s were the height of the flying saucer craze. The alleged UFO crash at Roswell had happened only a few years before the Flatwoods incident. Movies like The Day the Earth Stood Still, The Man from Planet X, and The Thing from Another World had come out the year before. They all featured humans encountering strange beings from other worlds. Aliens and extraterrestrial threats were definitely in the public consciousness at the time. The May children maintain to this day that they really saw something out of this world out there in the woods. Whether or not they really had a close encounter or were simply overcome by their fearful imagination is something we'll likely never know. If you like this video, please subscribe to Cryptic for more.